welcome you on MongoDB video series. In this video tutorial, we are going to uh, look how to perform sort sorting on uh, MongoDB documents, right? So you know, sorting is the very good uh, aspect of any programming language or database, right? So here we are going to look how to perform sorting uh, based on records or documents, uh, document uh, basically keys, right? particular keys uh, in the MongoDB. So let's try to understand our uh, first of all concept behind it. So to sort documents in MongoDB usually we use a sort method, right? And this method basically accepts a document containing list of fields along with their uh, uh, sorting order. To specify sorting order, uh, either we can use one or minus one. When you specify one with the particular key, then uh, documents will be uh, sorted based on the ascending order and minus one is used for descending order. So syntax is pretty simple, db, collection name, then you call the find method and then sort. And sort you need to, you need to basically pass some JSON, uh, basically object and their key you have to specify on which key you want the basically sorting to be performed. And if you want to perform uh, in ascending, then specify one, otherwise minus one, that would be uh, descending order. Yeah, so let's try to understand through an example, then only makes sense, right? So here, db, I'm going to uh, do db dot, let's say users, users is my collection, and then I do find so that I can show you what all data I have. So these are the data I have as of now, my uh, users collection, right? Now, let's say I want to perform based on the ascending order of uh, basically user's name, right? So what exactly you do, you will do, so here, what exactly you do, db dot, sorry, users dot, of course, find, first of all, you need to call the find method, and after that, uh, you can call the short, right, and short will take a JSON object. What would be the JSON object? Key, let's say I want to sort based on the ascending order of uh, user's name. Then I say key would be name itself, and I want to perform sorting of based on the ascending order, so plus one. If I press enter, then here you can see uh, all the documents have been sorted based on the uh, user's name, right? Now, next thing, uh, if you want sorted to be performed the descending order, then just you need to specify the minus one. That's it. And here you can see now records are basically documents are sorted uh, in descending order of uh, user's name. Now, few things I would like to make it clear over here. Uh, here, when you specify, uh, let's say, uh, uh, sorting uh, to be performed, then here you can specify uh, more than one, uh, basically, uh, more than one uh, keys as well. So let's say I want sorting to be performed the name in the setting order. And let's say names are same for more than one users, then I want second sorting should, should be performed in the age, right? And that should be in the descending order. So what does mean by this? So here I have specified uh, basically uh, one JSON documents and it has two keys. So first I'm telling uh, MongoDB, hey, perform sorting based on the name in ascending order. If names are same, then perform sorting in descending order of the age, right? And let me show you. So if I press enter, then here you can see. So here in my database, right, there are two users, right, with the same name, KKKK right and first has a age 35 because i i i, I told to uh, mongodb hey if names are same then uh, perform sorting on age uh, in descending order right and that's why you can see uh, this is descending order of age right and let's say if you want uh, let's say if you want uh, let's say uh, first sorting should be performed on the name and uh, if uh, more than one user have the same name, then I want uh, to perform the age in the ascending order itself, right? Then plus one you can give. And here you can see now, here we go. Here you can see now, a, and now two persons have the same name, then here sorting, second sorting perform the age, right? Now 30 is coming first and then th uh, 35, right? So, and now one more thing I would like to tell you. Let's say when you call the sort method, you do not specify any JSON document, you press enter, then it will display the data as it is. There would not be any impact on the probably sorting, right? So these are the important or small things you need to take into consideration when you learn any programming language or database, right? 
so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you and see you there in the next video tutorial